darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry, and thank you for tuning in again. All right, so this soap I have been planning to make for a very, very long time since 2017, but I knew it was going to be time consuming, so I just kept putting it off. Now, um, as you can see, the colors that I use, I have yellow, green, hot pink, and turquoise, and um, I'm going to be using these little doohickeys um hopefully though I'm, i may have to clean them again i kind of wiped them down just because i didn't want any soap smearing on it but i see there's still a little bit and i don't want that to rub off on my soap these are going to go on the walls the inside walls of my mold um i did these last week <laughs> and they do pop out very easily so i'm very happy that they won't be stuck that was one of my concerns that they would get stuck in when i uh would take it off the soap they would be stuck to this so um yeah i don't think well i'm gonna clean up a little bit more anyway but i don't think there's gonna be any transfer so anywho um turned out really nice i like the way that they look and i think it's gonna be really cool the name of this soap like i said this soap has been in the making for a very long time is called um the cat's pajamas <laughs> so now here is what i want to do i wanted this fragrance i mean this soap to be very sweet just because it's such a fun brightly colored so and um i was gonna go with my white jasmine pineapple because it smells just mouth-wateringly good but then i'm like i want something even sweeter so i got this fruit punch that i got from um a company that i was using before i found out about rustic essential but the only thing about them they're located here in michigan they don't provide any notes about their fragrances um i've been pretty lucky with them i had you know a few you know ones that went kind of um wham on me but <laughs> for the most part it did pretty good but because i've been on a losing streak <laughs> because my soap did completely turn that um hey girl hey it did turn all the way brown um a lot of you already know that because i did post it on my website um as a discount you'll find it in the oops section because i mean there's nothing wrong with it. it's just not as pretty as all the rest of them, you know what i mean so what i'm gonna do is do a little test <laughs> and normally i don't test anything but this is because I've just not been enjoying these soaps and have not been turning out the way I want them to. So I'm going to go ahead and put maybe three capfuls because I want it to be more than, you know, what's really recommended just to see if it's going to curdle or heat up or do anything unusual. And if I put more than a suggested amount, I mean, if it works, of course, it's going to go right back into my soap batter, but um this way i can kind of tell if it's going to do anything and it smells oh it smells good it's fruit punch and it smells just like the fruit punch you used to drink as a kid you know like those um see how bright orange is turned so i'm going to sit and play with this for a little bit and see what it does and um this is not to say it's going to discolor i don't know if this has vanillin in it I don't believe it does but one can never tell um i have been pretty pretty lucky with that company that they don't have vanillin in a lot of their fragrances um so i don't think this is going to turn i think this is just a reaction right here but i am going to lighten it hopefully i can get a white and i'm gonna have to stick this in the fridge because i'm gonna have to use more td than i normally use i normally don't use a lot of td but i think in this case i'm gonna have to use more than i would normally use so it yeah it's heating up a little bit i can tell it's a little bit warm let's see I'm trying to tell well no it feels about the same as my my base let me check the temperatures on these okay my base oils are 93.5 and this one okay so this is a little bit warmer this is 113.5 so let me sit and play around with this and see what it does and then i'll bring you guys back okay no. so this is what i have it has turned and this has a td in it and it has turned this golden color which is beautiful but that's not the color that i want so and it's very hot um let me take the temperature on this and that is uh very normal that i've had with them uh it went up by three degrees it's 116 but um 
not all of their fragrances because I mean clearly I've, <laughs> I've used quite a bit um, but I did this this was the number one thing it wasn't so much as um, vanillin or changing brown it was they would get hot I've had quite a I keep saying quite a few. I've had probably about four that's gotten really, really hot. Some to the point that I couldn't even use them. So this right here, I'm not going to use. I'm just going to smack that down like that and leave it in this bowl and let it cure out. <laughs> and then I'll shred it up and do something else with it. I was going to put it back in my soap base, but I don't think I want to. So I'm going to set that off to the side and let it do whatever it's going to do. It looks like delicious caramel pudding, but uh, that ain't what we want. So gonna go on back to my fave rustic essential uh, i love this white jasmine and pineapple it smells so delicious so i'm gonna go ahead and get the amount that i want measured out and then we will get this show on the road now i was in a facebook group and i learned something because have you guys had that problem where you pour your fragrance out of a bottle and then it uh spills all everywhere so what you do is just pour it down a stick and it actually works. It keeps it from pouring all down the side of your bottle because that is super duper annoying. So um, that's what we're going to be doing here. Look it up. So that's as much as I want to use. I'm going to get that mixed in and get my TD mixed into. No. Yeah, I'm going to. Anyway, I'll be back. <laughs> Okie doke, so I got everything mixed in and everything's behaving the way I want it to do. And I used to, when I was first on YouTube a couple of years ago, um, I used to always tell people where I got stuff from and then I just stopped. <laughs> and uh, then people start asking me, can you start telling us where you got your colors and blah 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 from. Everybody knows that I do review for um, Rustic Essential and they are my number one boo thing. Love Rustic Essential. <laughs> But, um, I do have products from other companies, and, ooh, okay, they gave me a little scare, because, uh, yeah, this is getting a little thick. I don't know, it's like everything is, what is going on? Why is it teed up? Because I've used this fragrance before, and that's weird, because this is not, I don't know what's up with my, um, white over here. But, yeah, we're going to work on that in a minute. Oh, it's heating up because I stick blend the crap out of it. I mean, thickening up, that's why. But it is heating up. Okay, so anyway, let's get the show on a roll. The yellow came from Rustic Essential, which is uh, Sun at Burst Sparkle Mega. And then the green came from Rustic Essential, which is Pistachio Mica. And then um, the bright, bright neon pink is from TKB Trading. And my beautiful turquoise here is from Nurture Soap. I repackaged it. All right. So now let's get all of this stuff out of the way. Grab my glorious, glorious mold. Um, for those of you who don't know, I post it in, I think, every video I've done since I've been using this uh, mold that this mold came from. Custom Craft Tools. Um, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Things want to get funny on me now. But yeah, Custom Craft Tools. It's an Etsy shop. Uh, I will link it below. I love this mold. This mold is also my boo thing. So, I'm going to have to take these clips. I think. Is that going to work? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how I'm going to make this work, but I'm going to make it work. So, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of plop this white down in here. Oh, am I losing some? No. Ooh, okay, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I just need it to stay against the walls. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but just give me a second. I'll straighten things out in a second. Last thing I need is for things to go rogue on me. <laughs> I don't need that. Okay. If it goes on the sides, I don't care. That's even better. Um, yeah, this thing is like doing the most. It really is. It's stuck. It's so weird because when I first cut these uh, little plastic molds or whatever they call, uh, when I first cut them, they stuck right to the sides, no problem. But now they want to just show off. 
since I'm filming and not stick to the sides. <laughs> but we can make it work because we always do. Now, let's see. I got a little bit just on that side. Okay. So now that I got it set up some, kind of squashed out the back, but that's okay. And I swear to myself that I cleaned my stick blender well. I guess I didn't because I got all kinds of dark marks in this soap base from my previous soap. Yep, this is going to have to go in the um, in the fridge because it is getting quite hot. And hopefully I can get some type of squirrel. I didn't have a clear idea of what type of uh, pour I wanted to do, but I guess at this point it doesn't even matter because it wasn't going to work anyway. And it's only this fucking white. But, oh well. Okay, try to figure out how to bang this down without it jumping up. Falling out, y'all. Ah, no! Hey, my cat's pajamas. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We're just gonna keep. Let me see if I can get that out of there and put it back where it belongs. Yep. Sis. Okay. Now, where'd that come from? Oh, it came from here. Oh, I lost a couple of dots. I don't like that. Yeah, the struggle was real. Who ever thought this stuff was going to be so difficult to make? Okay, but we're going to make it work because we always do. That one just really went down there. I don't know where it went, and I'm not going to try to find it. So now, I'm going to start pouring these. Um, see, look at that. It's just my white that wants to be a turd. I don't understand. And this tail is acting kind of ugly too, but that's okay. Give her a stir. Okay, there we go. She's fine. So, what I think I'm going to do is just pour a little bit of each and then take a um, skewer and kind of mix it in because by this cream being very thick, me trying to get it to pour down like a, a deep drop swirl ain't going to happen. It's just going to sit right on top. See, just like that. So, who knows what this is going to look like. Oh, the struggle is real. That's okay. Alright, what color am I going to do next? We're going to do some pink. I guess it doesn't matter what height I pour just because it's not breaking through anyway. So, now, I know I'm going all out of order, but at this point, it doesn't matter. Everything else wants to thicken up on me. Some down on that corner. Okay. And then add my green. So I want to go ahead and speed this up just because uh, I need to get this in the mold before this other white gets too thick to do anything with. So enjoy the music. I just wanted to pop in and tell you guys what I'm doing because this is very very thick so I am taking this white or cream and I'm mashing it up against the sides because um, when I bang this I don't want all of my little dots to pop out because I'm gonna have to bang the crap out of this just because it is very very thick so yeah just want to pop in and tell you why I was doing that I know some people are probably like why is she doing that but now you know all right it looks really really cool once I get um everything mixed in and all swirled up and all pretty and all that stuff I'll show you guys the side because it looks really cool Okie doke, so I have banged the crap out of this soap. And I was going to use the rest of this cream, but honey, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Um, 
it's not gonna work so I'm not gonna worry about it but I guess um, that the water discount doesn't do well with TD from me um, I don't since I've been doing water discount nope okay yeah since I, I've done three water discounts and none of them had white in it um, so yeah I see that for me white is not gonna work with um, a water discount so I have to just take note of that but um this is not gonna stop no show nope it's not I just hope that I banged it down enough where um there's no air pockets lord knows I don't want a whole bunch of air pockets in this soap especially because this soap like I said I've been thinking on how to execute this soap for about seven months yeah it's been about seven months so I'm not too concerned about it you know give me all this trouble right now oh that's nice but uh, <laughs> um, I know it's due to my water discount but that's how you learn right right okay so I'm just gonna keep plopping this on the top because everything else is well behaved it's just a stupid white and I don't know what this top is gonna look like but this is really pretty so far Kind of almost oops just want to see this green is lovely it is still very fluid well the white is just being a turd but that's okay so like i said i'm gonna make it do what i want it to do not the other way around mm -mm, not today cat's pajamas not today okay so Oh, and I am so happy, like a lot of you guys were able to get your rice bran oil. If you didn't watch that video, shame, shame. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you didn't watch that video, it might be because you're new or you didn't get the notification. Um, if you want to get notifications of when I post new videos, all you got to do is hit that bell. And you will be notified of when I post a new video. And you can run right on over here and see what mess I'm up to <laughs> um, in that week's video. But yeah. I did um, a video on where I buy my soap making oils and butters and other goodies and I was telling you all that I went to Lowe's because I saw it in the Facebook group where you can get rice bran oil for well you just asked the manager for a discount and he'd give it to you or she would give it to you it didn't work for everybody it did work for me so um, be sure to head over and watch that video you can find it in my playlist um, or just go to my home home page and you can find it there but yeah I got three okay so yeah my battery just totally went kaputs on me I charge it for a few seconds a few seconds or a few minutes <laughs> and um, hopefully it'll last but I'm gonna kind of zoom through what I'm doing so oh, Laura moving a little too fast I was about to texture let me put glitter on this soap and hadn't even textured the top yet so I'm gonna do that and then oh yes this puppy is quite warm okay so now that I had time to think about it um yeah I did do a soap with another water discount but I don't think I did as big of a discount so um maybe that's the reason I think this this one was about uh, 45 percent water discount if I'm not mistaken and the rest were like 25 so now I know all right so that's what I'm gonna make that top look like it's actually pretty cool um and then we're gonna slap some glitter on here and um yeah this show on the road like I said I gotta get moving because I don't want my battery there so I got this pink glitter flamingo pink which is from rustic essentials as well just a little bit nothing crazy and then I'm gonna put some white on it just to kind of brighten things up because my intentions were not to have a dark colored top it was mostly white I normally do mostly white tops but um things didn't go the way that I had planned so you know we had to come up with plan B all right so now that is lovely Ooh. Now we're going to do some white glitter. And this is incandescent super, super sparkle mica, mica glitter. I, I don't want to hold it sideways because the lid's not on. I would really hate for it to all spill out of myself. That would be terrible. 
Oh, how pretty. Ooh, love it, skirt so. So excited. I have, I like, don't use glitter as much as I used to. What in the hell is going on with me? But, uh, yeah, she's back. All right, so I'm going to clean up the size. And thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in, as always. I am so pooping happy to have you here. Um, there will be a cutting video attached to this making. So stick around. I'm not done yet. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, as you always do. It is greatly appreciated. And if you're new to my channel, I am so fucking happy you found me. And I hope you decide to come back over and over again. Become a part of my stinking awesome crew. And how do you do that? You just hit that sub button. That's all you do. Subscribe button. Pretty easy. All right. So I'm going to hold this up for you guys to see. And then I'm going to clean up this mess and get my buns out of here. And, okay. So it's hot. So I'm going to hold it to the side so you can see that. I don't know how much you can see, but that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty thick, so it ain't going nowhere, so I can hold that to the side. I think I might be able to unmold this tonight. As you can see, I did have a little bit of spillage, but that's fine. And that's the top. Isn't that pretty? I love that top. I really do. Didn't think that I would, but I do. All right, guys, um, see you at the garden. Hey, guys, welcome back to Royal Appleberry, and, um, today I am unmolding my, uh, the cat's pajamas. Now, I, this is probably... Let's see, that was Sunday, this is Thursday. So, it's been sitting for a while. Now, as you can see, I did take it off out of the mold. And I did unmold this side, and when I did, it was kind of tacky. That's why I let it sit for so much longer. Um, and I did lose a few of the little uh, balls here. But, well, dots, not balls. But that's okay. Um, now, let's see how we're going to... Whoops. Ah, these things are just flopping off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this bottom off. I don't know why the suction is real. All right, yeah, <laughs> the suction on that was real, but it didn't take very long to take off. So now I'm going to peel off the other side. Um, hopefully, you know, it is nice and firm and it doesn't peel off too many of my little dots because. It took me a long time to put those on, and I do like them. I would like for them to stay. That's the whole purpose of them being on the soap, isn't it? So it's starting to come off pretty good. I see I got a couple here that are stuck in the tray, and I'm not going to try to replace them because I tried that, and um, they end up falling off anyway. So I think next time to keep this from happening, so this is what I lost, um, which is fine. But to keep this from happening next time, instead of waiting so many days in between after filling this little mold cavity, um, I'm going to do it probably later on that day. Let it sit for about an hour and then make it because this was a lot of fun to make. It was a learning curve, but I did get it together. So let me grab my uh, cutter and then we'll start cutting. But I see like because it did thicken up and I was trying to figure out what caused that. And... I was gonna say it was my um, my water discount, but the more I thought about it, no, that wasn't my water discount. It was, I just been, I don't know why. <laughs> I've been a little heavy hand on things, so I put a lot of extra cream uh, in my soap, and then with the TD, that's what caused the white to thicken up like it did. All right, let me grab my soap cutter, and we will see what's in this puppy. Okay, doke, so let's see what we're gonna be able to do here. Move that salt out the way. I should have grabbed a napkin, but I can use this towel. So, I just really, really hope that it doesn't have a lot of air pockets in it. Which I like to call blow holes. <laughs> so, that is really festive. I do like it. Oh, and then I did lose some of the little circles to the inside of the soap. Which I like. And I do like that swirl. Now, if I can keep up this, that would be wonderful. These, of course, don't have the polka dots on the side because that was just the end but hopefully we're off to uh oh i see i'm losing some of my little polka dots on the side but it's okay the soap is still very very fun and festive so here we go <laughs> this is so strange looking but it's cute look at that <laughs> That is interesting for sure. Very, very interesting soap. 
but um, I do like it. I've just never seen anything like it. <laughs> and um, so again, I don't think a lot of these little dots are going to stay on it. They may. It just depends on how they dry out. But um, I'm losing a lot of them, which is fine. Like I said, I just know what to do next time. But this is actually really cool looking. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out still. And I show one of my coworkers this uh, the picture of this soap. And he's just like, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, one for my daughter. I'm like, it's not ready yet. <laughs> he's just like, give it to me anyway. I said, no, I can't give it to you. Not yet. You got to wait. So, um, today is February 1st, and, uh, he has a few weeks on this one, but that is very interesting indeed. <laughs> that is a very funny looking soap to me, but it's cool. It's just so different. That's why it's very intriguing looking, but yeah, so this is Cat's Pajamas. And every time I grab this side to push up, I can feel some of the little beads sliding. And, oddly enough, they're lining up properly where I haven't cut any in half yet. So that's always good. Um, yeah, that swirl turned out really nice. What do you guys think? Let me know if you like the swirl. Look at that. That's really cool. Really, really cool. I actually started to put them on the bottom too, but I was like, nah. And I really should have, but my fear was... Um, a lot of the soap was going to run underneath the mold because it's not flat and I didn't want to lose that much soap that's why I didn't but I may just try it next time and Gabe has just been when are you cutting the soap when are you cutting the soap when are you cutting the soap so now I guess when he gets home from work he'll see I've cut the soap push that back just a hair So this soap should be ready. It's been one week. So I say the third week of February. Yeah. Especially with me doing a water discount, they do cure out a lot faster. So this is gonna be really cool when I. They kind of look like little. <laughs> I don't know. It's like little punk rockers. <laughs> I think little dots kind of reminds me of like a. Uh, a studded leather jacket or something <laughs> but um yeah this smells awesome um again this is in white jasmine and pineapple and i actually got an email from one of you this morning asking me for a recommendation on a pineapple and i recommended this one just because although it's white jasmine and pineapple you smell more pineapple than e anything and just the jasmine gives it a very refreshing note so um, I did recommend, I don't know why I'm showing you the bottom of that soap, <laughs> but I did recommend that uh, fragrance oil because it does smell very mouthwatering for sure. I just kind of wish that like all my little dots would have really stuck, but um, that's okay. Ain't nothing you can do about that, now is it? Yeah, this is lined up so perfectly. Ooh, I really like that one. Look at that. That's cool looking. That's one good looking soap. Mmm, I just got a big old whiff of that fragrance. That smells delicious. Very, very pretty. I love these colors. I did say I was going to stay away from pinks and greens, but this one is just like very, very bright, so... I can get away with this one. It's kind of tall too, but of course they're going to shrink down. They always do. And I was watching Rosie Soaps where she did the uh, embossing with the little wire heart that she made. And I'm like, that is really, really cool. And then today... I was at work and well I was on my lunch break <laughs> but um, I was watching a couple videos and saw another lady um, she's fairly new she had put out a video um, 
about a week ago doing one and she just took a straight line and kind of went across i'm like this is really really cool so i might give it a go because it looks lovely and katie's soap was absolutely beautiful and i i don't know why i didn't even think of to remember the lady's name where i saw it um she uh hers was really really pretty too although it was very simple but it was gorgeous so yeah i might just give that a go myself Oh, these dots are kind of annoying me because <laughs> it keeps sliding all over the place but i'm i'm pretty sure once it cures out they should kind of stay where they're supposed to be very pretty so this is the cat's pajamas gabriel named it so <laughs> and i i thought it was just the way the cutest thing ever so i think it fits i really do who doesn't want to see a cat in polka dot pajamas? <laughs> Ready? Oops. Oops. Okay. So instead of just trying to keep these hanging on for dear life, I'm just going to let them fall off. It doesn't matter, you know, for the ones that are not there because it still looks actually pretty cool. So, there you have it. And for those of you who do water discounts, and Tiggy, if you're watching this, um, let me know, because my soap is still, actually it feels more tacky when I do a water discount than it does when I don't do a water discount. And this soap has been sitting for five days, I think. So yeah, let me know. Um, am I missing something here? <laughs> and I do, um, definitely so, because uh, that was my first time playing around with water discounts. Um, use my pH strips and they're pretty good they're where they're supposed to be so they're not lie heavy or anything crazy like that but because that I was very scared about that but um yeah they just they're very and they're not tacky but they're soft it's kind of hard to explain I just felt like they should be a little bit firmer than this yeah you see I could just smear that off like that look at that yeah so that is still pretty soft um, so for those of you who do water discounts and Tiki, if you're watching, please let me know what you guys um, come up with when you do uh, water discounts. Are your soaps tacky feeling like that too? This one is just so cute. Mm, that smells good. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. All right, so that's it for my cat's pajamas. I'll put a few down and let you guys see them. I just want to thank you all for taking the time to pop in and watch my videos and just hang out with me i just appreciate you guys so much i really really do and all the love and hey hey to all my new subscribers i'm so glad that you are here i'm so freaking happy you found me and i hope that you decide you want to stick around and become a part of the stinking awesome crew and how do you do that it's absolutely free all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and you're instantly in there's some really really cool people here um we have lots of fun talk about lots of things and I'm just chatted up have a good old time and also March is coming up very soon so there's going to be uh my exchange like we did last I nope I didn't do it last year I did it year before last it was March month of giving that's what it is so where if for those of you who don't know what that is it's where all of us who are soap makers and non soap makers we get together and we talk to each other in the comment section and we say hey you know what um I want a soap from you or you can say hey uh, can you give you know do you want me to give you one of my soaps so we just kind of exchange soaps with one another and it's okay if you're not a soap maker if you aren't a soap maker you can contact some of the soap makers and say hey um, I would like to have one of your soaps so it's just that simple and it's just about getting to know each other um, building relationships with one another also and finding some new soap makers and just like hey you know what I really like their soaps I'm gonna start supporting them so that's why I do it and it's for my birthday <laughs> I'm going to be giving away soaps as well because I just, why not? All right, guys, until the next video, um, I'm out of here. I'm going to go upstairs and I got Hello Fresh. Um, <laughs> I got uh, their delivery food service and we did have one of their dishes and it was absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go up here and cook the next one. So until the next soap making video, ciao for now. <laughs>